Ministry of Health. Over the last few months, Health Minister Jane Rutha Cheng has been the face of the fight against COVID-19, frequently appearing on TV to give updates and sensitize the public on how to avoid getting infected with the coronavirus. As a health professional, Cheng has largely been beyond reproach in most of her work keeping the deadly COVID-19 outbreak at bay. The Tone Semberera campaign, it means don't come near me, keep your distance. And the distance we are talking about is four meters. However, since the technocrat declared her intention to run as Lira Woman Member of Parliament, she has come under the kind of scrutiny that comes with high-profile politics. In different videos recently circulating on social media, Dr. Acheng is seen involved in activities where COVID-19 prevention guidelines are clearly being violated. In a statement, Acheng has explained that she was sensitizing people to wear a mask during a distribution exercise. She appears in another video, marching in a procession of chanting supporters. If we are in a different world, say in Europe, this minister should have resigned immediately. Because what she did is an embarrassment, not only to herself, but to the entire government. You lock her kids, you stop border borders from moving, and you are on the road in a procession, a minister for health, the one who has published the regulations, and you are on TV every day. I see her more than five times on NTV every day. We regret the incident. Minister of Information and National Guidance Judith Nabakova has said the videos should not be an excuse to violate COVID-19 guidelines. That should not be an excuse for Ugandans to use doctor as an example to abandon the guidelines put in place. It is a regrettable incident. But an apology may not be enough for some church leaders who have since called for government to open places of worship and other sectors of the economy. If we can risk for politics, why can't we risk for God? If we can risk for money in Ichikubo, why can't we risk for God? We cannot teach without being examples ourselves. Teach people how to manage their lives. Chira Municipality MP Semujunganda, who is also opposition chief whip, says Acheng should resign. We are going to ask Jane Ruth Acheng to do the decent thing. If she made a mistake, the first thing is to resign. If it is not a mistake for her to go and withdraw the regulations that she published that are in the Gazette, she has only two options. It is no longer health, it is politics. How do we curtail the opposition, take advantage of COVID, and we are the only ones campaigning? That's what they are doing. Semuju and other opposition politicians have in the recent days been arrested and their meetings blocked for allegedly flouting COVID-19 guidelines. There is no way you can arrest Semuju for holding a smaller meeting of FDC. And then on the same day, you have a Minister of State for Investment, Evelyn Anit, holding even a bigger meeting in Koboko. And at the meeting, she's campaigning, distributing NRM t-shirts and yellow masks. And in Irida, you have another minister for health doing the same thing, holding a public gathering, a procession with no mask. So if government wanted everybody to believe that they take this COVID-19 serious, these two ministers should have been arrested and charged for violating COVID measures. But they were not arrested. So why did they arrest me? Uganda now has over a thousand COVID-19 cases and though a lockdown put in place in March has largely been eased, there are still several restrictions in place and some sections of the public have been calling for them to be lifted. Edward Mhumza, NTV.